Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. Nose, we are using to increase our oxygen level. But these uh, pharmaceutics fellows, no, there was a problem with those fellows. They are not leaving the nose also. Through the nose also, they want to deliver the drug into the systemic circulation. Always there was a, they will not leave any organ, these pharmaceutics people. Skin, transdermal drug delivery, eye, ocular drug delivery, nose, nasal drug delivery, mouth, oral drug delivery, even nail also through nail also, nail drug delivery system. For each and every vaginal drug delivery, rectal drug delivery, just imagine intrauterine drug delivery also, intrauterous delivery also, lungs, pulmonary delivery system. So these, uh, see what is the purpose of organs God given, but what these pharmaceutics fellows th they are doing, they are not leaving any organ in our body. Okay. Uh, uh, I am also a pharmaceutics fellow uh, for your kind information. Yeah, right. Uh, this is your syllabus. Uh, nasopulmonary drug delivery system, introduction to nasal and pulmonary routes of drug delivery that we will going to be complete. Uh, and in the next part, the formulation of inhalers that we will cover in the uh, next part. And this is my mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store, open the app and you can be find all my presentations. All my presentations are nothing but notes. Same as it is you have to write in the examinations. Don't worry, you'll get more than a distinction. So after opening the app, go to the store option. Here, store option is there. In that store option, you can be find all my courses. Which course you want, you can be here. Uh, you can open and see the notes will be there. All my presentation. This is about my YouTube channel. You can be open the playlist in my YouTube channel playlist. See the here. See the cursor playlist. You can I arranged all my videos in a subject wise. There uh, each subject again you will get a topic wise. Yeah, very important one. Nasal drug delivery system. Nose is very important. Yeah, here. Nose is very, very important because you, I will tell you some wonders. You can do some wonders with a, a nose. See, directly through the nose, drug will enter directly into the brain. Just imagine. See, brain is full cover of the blood brain barrier. So, if you want to deliver the drug, it must cross the blood brain barrier. But there is only one exemption is there, nose, nose, nose. Without entry into the blood-brain barrier, directly the drug molecules will enter into the brain. That point you have to enter in your brain, this point. See, this is a brain, okay, that we know very well. This entire brain is surrounded by the blood-brain barrier, except two places. That two places are directly opened through the mouth. See here olfactory nerve, this olfactory nerve, it is exposed at the top of the nasal cavity. It is, a, so blood brain barrier is absent. So olfactory nerve directly projected directly from the brain, it is directly projected into the nasal cavity. Okay, so blood brain barrier is, is not covered by this olfactory. So whatever you are giving the medication, if it touches, it touches the directly olfactory nerve through the olfactory nerve, Directly drug will enter into the brain. That's why it is very, very important to, okay? Trisemenial nerve, trisemenial nerve. See here, this is also a trisemenial nerve directly projecting from the brain into the nose at the sides of the nasal cavity. This is the second, I have given the numbers also. So target site is a central nervous system. Directly you can be targeted through the nose. Central nervous system, root one, root two. See here, this is root one, root two. Root one is olfactory nerve, nose brain pathway. This is also called as a nose brain pathway. Directly reaching the drug reaching point is a brain. Number two is a trisemenial nerve, which is present at the sides of the nasal cavity, forms brain stem, respiratory center. Directly you can deliver the drug, keep in your mind. And the systemic circulation also directly gets the brain through the lungs. See here, three. See, when uh, he will inhale, the patient will inhale the medication through the nasal spray. So the drug molecules will enter like this into the lungs. From the lungs directly, it enters into the systemic circulation. And uh, fourth one is a nasal local tissue, locally, any, any local infections at all, local action only. In the, it acts in the nasal cavity only, ending point is also local, local only, okay? And see here how the drug molecules are crossing nicely the blood brain barrier. That is a highlighted point here. This here and here, 
like this fellow how he is crossing the line in the same fashion silently very nicely very nicely okay right now see see i am just i am uh, kidding the pharmaceutics fellow sir but actually this is ayurvedic system keep in your mind at see in ayurvedic system nasya karma we are calling as a nasya karma you ask them uh, any ayurvedic doctor your bhms friends or bams friends uh, it is a ancient and traditional root of ayurvedic system this knows they are using nasya nasya karma they are use they are calling it as very powerful root don't think that nose is very small stomach is very big stomach is having a very good uh, absorption power okay entire you can be take the liters of the medication through the stomach nose is very small don't think like that nose is also very powerful root directly the drug will be enter into the brain keep in your mind administration of the through the nose He is referred as a nasal drug delivery system. Actually, we are doing a pranayama uh, through the nose. But uh, uh -huh. see, now it become a very potential route. This nose, very potential route, faster route, very faster, quick onset of action, high level of drug absorption, not the small level. High level will be there. It recognized as a very reliable route. Now it is an alternative route for the oral and parenteral route. Just imagine, okay? and uh, you we are using this for uh, cns central nervous system brain systemic circulation and for the nasal local action nasya karma keep in your mind all these points you have to write in the examination anatomy and physiology of the nose you have to write in the examination even though this is sutic subject the anatomy and physiology you have to write because it is given in the textbook also in the same chapter and the same okay we know that various parts of the nasal cavity okay superior nasal concha and uh, okay frontal sinusis olfactory bulb of okay, olfactory region sphenoids all these things you have to be write in the examination compulsory whenever they have given the nasal drug delivery system physiology and all uh, the highlighted points only I, i have wrote here okay nose hairs what is the main function physiology means functions we know uh, nose hairs filters the inhaled air traps the bigger bigger particles nasal mucosa this is a mucosa nasal mucosa warms the air it gives the moisture also to the air humidifies the inhaled air traps the very small particles also <coughs> olfactory epithelium detects the smell entire nose resonating chamber for the speech and sound entire nose okay yeah Uh, once it, that drug mark, drug particles are will enter into the nose through the nasal cavity there is a three types of routes are there transport okay paracellular transport transcellular transport transcytosic route also these are the three routes paracellular means parallel to the cells between the cells that's why this is also called as a intercellular route okay passive diffusion uh, most of the hydrophilic drugs will takes place uh, this part proteins peptides will be transported through this and the transcellular through the cell wall through the nucleus transport see here lipophilic drugs will choose this levodopa thyroidopa and here uh, passive and active diffusions both will be there it is a intracellular uh, and the transporter just like endocytosis pinocytosis that we know that it is cell eating and cell drinking vaccines nasal vaccines also now we have developed for corona also okay the, we are giving through the route also these vaccines will be absorbed by the transcytosic very very important bit now it is expecting in the gpat examinations also nasal vaccines how the vaccine is absorbed through the nasal cavity which transport means uh, pinocytosis because it is a liquid pinocytosis it is a self drinking vaccines transcytosis okay very important you have to write in the examination here the vesicles will be formed this vesicles will be uh, will take the drug particles and it will be delivered to the just like phagocytosis only cell eating cell drinking phagocytosis immune system the same fashion only yeah now advantages and disadvantages of the all these what i have mentioned the diagrams are advantages only of nasal drug delivery system very rapid very rapid safe non invasive means we are not going to be just like a needle it is a, we are not going to make a hole just like parental system we are not making non invasive convenient comfortable it avoids the drug degradation by the gi fluids because you are not going to be take the tablet you are not swallowing through the oral cavity so your drug is safe 
some of the drugs are degraded by the gastrointestinal fluids that we know very well especially the insulin uh, and avoids the first pass metabolism uh, it bypasses the first pass metabolism that's why this is called a avoids the first pass metabolism is nothing but bypass is the first pass. bypass means not your village bypass village see as a sudix person you have to know what is the meaning of bypass not your uh, street bypass or your village bypass low systemic side effects so i made video on first pass metabolism you can be find in, in my biopharmaceutics uh, videos low systemic side effects okay and easy administration only drops suitable for the drugs which is having a poor triple b penetration brain brain barrier which do not cross easily then you can be give through that suitable for the protein drugs like a insulin biotechnological products like a vaccines immunoglobulin c a immunoglobulin c e immunoglobulin g not e g we can be a and g and steroids hormones vitamins all these points you have to write first choice route for the to for the treatment of parkinson's disease because uh, it is related to the brain disease is related to the brain that's why I, uh we have to deliver the drug directly to the brain so why we have to unnecessarily expose the medication throughout the body why unnecessarily even healthy tissues also unnecessarily exposing to the uh, drugs okay disadvantages this is a possibility of drug exit from the nose you have to sleep for uh, 10 uh, at least a, a 10 minutes or half an hour so that drug will be entered very effectively so possible if you are waking up suddenly you are not one minute also there is a possibility of drug exit from the nose due to the cilia also even cilia also try to always push out the drug nasal congestion allergy may interfere the therapy it is a suitable only for the low dose potent drugs if you want to take the medication liters liters together it is not possible this nasal and frequently if you are using a nasal cavity it, it causes a mucosal damage and you, you will lose the smell also that is also a problem uh, because mucosal damage may be there, olfactory nerve damage may be there. If you are taking daily three times, four times through the nose, you see it is not a mouth. Okay, small absorption surface uh, area compared compared to GA, it is very long surface area. But however, when compared to that very small surface area, high prone to nasal irritation. These factors you have to be considered whenever you are developing a nasal drug delivery system. Physicochemical properties, same as it is, like molecular weight of particle size, five pKa partition, same. Physiological, like a nasal blood flow, mucillary clearance, enzymatic degradation, site deposition, all these things you have to be noted on. And you can be take a screenshot and uh, you can be right. And uh, introduction to pulmonary drug delivery system mm, through the lungs is called as a pulmonary drug delivery. Ancient, this is also ancient and traditional route in Ayurveda. Most promising route also. This is also systemic circulation. Drugs will enter into the systemic circulation. Very popular for the treatment of asthma, COPD. This is the only the option. Only the option. So we can target the deliver, especially lung cancer also. Directly we can uh, deliver the drug, uh, cancer, anti-cancer drug directly to the lungs in case of lung cancer. And the 25 drugs are already there available in the market through the pulmonary like that. You can see the salbutamol I have mentioned here. 25 drugs are there and many drugs are under clinical trials through the lungs. They are not leaving the lungs also. COPD in, in future, if you are not using the lungs to take the oxygen in future, what you have? You have to take the medication through the lungs. Later, that is your wish. COPD. Asthma. Uh, B2 agonist, salbutamol, see here, salbutamol is there, salbutamol, terpitalin, okay, uh, pharmotiral, corticosteroids, butanicide, all these things are number of things are available. See here, pulmonary drug delivery system, this is also bypass, bypass. It bypasses the liver. Most of first pass metabolism, liver is the very biggest area. You can see oral administration, whatever you are taking, first it goes to the liver. Before entry into the systemic circulation, it just first it enters into the liver. Most of the drug first first degraded by the liver. Later again it enters into the system of circulation. Again it come back to the liver. That is second pass. See pulmonary drug delivery system directly it enters into the lungs and from here directly system of circulation. Keep in your mind. So it bypasses the liver bypass road. Keep in your mind. It is easy also needle free, painless, non invasive. All this is also keep in your mind. Parental road. Topical administration, all these are also bypasses the first pass metabolism. In the same fashion, pulmonary also. 
low and uh, fraction of oral dose is enough uh, very powerful route this is also quick onset of action is there just like a smell inhalation smell directly you will be felt down that is also oral route only uh, nose and pulmonary route gat irritation gat unstable drugs can be given through this route like insulin L large molecular weight drugs can be given through insulin also okay stability problem is there in case of invivo it needs the high manufacturing facilities see tablet manufacturing is easy oral drug delivery systems are very easy for manufacturing whereas uh, this nebulizers so meter to dose inhalers so all these are uh, very difficult powdered uh, Uh, inhaler so very costly with comparison it is a much time taking process it is not easy to prepare the uh, to prepare the inhalers as that of the tablets large dose of drugs cannot be given through this route and here also you have to write, you must write anatomy and physiology in the examination this is anatomy we know that this is a trachea and here branchia will start this is a left primary branchus uh, right primary branchia it will be divided into secondary okay secondary and also it is divided into tertiary see here see the carefully 1 2 3 trachea branchia secondary tertiary and finally branchioles and alveoli just like a angur uh, that is a grapes and pulmonary ventilation this functions also exchange of the gases regulation of the ph of the blood everything you have to write in the examination here also parameters you have to be consider compulsory you have to be consider during the pulmonary tract delivery system aerosol properties part aerosol that is after the preparing the meter dose inhaler or aerosol whatever it may be aerosol properties mass media aerodynamic diameter geometric standard deviation fine particle fraction how many fine particles are coming out uh, velocity of the air uh, whenever you are pressing what is the strength what is the pressure inside the aerosol container particle volume of, volume of the diameter bulk density of the particle stab density shape of the particle what charge which is present on the particle and physical chemical properties like a solubility hydroscopicity and lung properties like a disease status how patient is inhaling very strongly or less depending upon that also drug rate of uh, inhalation rate of exhale that is also going to play a play a major role patient age mucociliary clearance mucus production how much mucus is producing if plants are producing a high mucus it is very difficult to enter the drug like that many problems are there it is not easy also so i will end my session here in the next part two video we can be make the remaining meter dose inhaler everything that we will be cover